Hey, hey, what's going on my friend? Justin Temple here, and in this quick video, I'm going to share with you how to start paper trading with iCoin Pro. And really quick, I just want you to know that I am a top 8 recruiter. Oh, 9 now. I was 8. So um, I'm tied with this person right here. So I am a top 9 recruiter right now. One more person, I'll be top 8. So I am building iCoin Pro very seriously. And I'm going to share with you how to paper trade in iCoin Pro. And so let's get into it. Now, I'm going to show you how to paper trade as if you are a paid member and, are access, and can access the trading software. If you are not a paid member, you can just go up here to iCoin Pro Training and watch the boot camp. And you can learn how to buy the dip and how to use TradingView. So let's go ahead and start with the software. Okay, we're going to click right here open up the trading portal and this is if you're a paid member okay <clears throat> and then we're gonna go to trading view and then we're gonna go right here and we're gonna just go ahead and open up any crypto market so I just click right here on Bitcoin open this up and then from here we're gonna click on trading panel And then scroll down, or let's see, where is it? Oh, it's already in here. I'm already on my paper trading. But anyways, you would just scroll down, click on paper trading, and it would be a black box right here. And then you're going to go ahead and set your amount. So you can click right here, and then you click reset account, and you can go ahead and put whatever you want on your paper trading account. I like to do like 500 just to keep it realistic. And then every time you trade, you're going to do $100. And so let's go ahead and now find a trade and see if we can potentially do a paper trade. So I did a real trade with Caval earlier today on my Coinbase account. So let's see. Uh, let me scroll down. So here's a Caval buy. We put in $100 and we're going to try to get out with $103. So anyways, that's a real trade, but let's go back to the software and see if we can find another trade for our paper trading account. And uh, we just opened this up, so it should be fresh. Uh, we're going to use BuddyCoin Crawler, and we're going to click right here on Current Load SMA. Click it again, and we're going to see if this number is higher than this number. Um, we don't see any of them. This one's a little bit, but we, we want to see like multiple times higher. So we don't see anything there. Like see how this is 10, this is one almost. You would want, you'd want to see 10 and then one over here. So really not that much of a great trading action. Move on to the next section of iCoin Pro. And then let's see if something happened here. So filters, Coinbase, refresh. Okay, so right here, this means that iCoin Pro is not finding any dip trades, so it's actually not a good time to trade. Okay, there's nothing wrong. And then we can go to RSI Spy, and we can sort by one day RSI right here. And then we'll go back to Trade Finder in a minute to see if anything pops up. But it's analyzing everything in real time. So here's a trade right here, Caval. The RSI's dropped a lot, so one of the trainings teaches you that below a 30 RSI is a pretty good indicator. So we can see that Caval has dropped a lot right here. And it's dropped about 100%. So it's done a nice dip. Right here we've got Zeta. It's dropping right here. Go out to the one day. We can see it's hitting this resistance line right here. Might bounce off of that. So we can just go through these and look at them. But Caval looks like it's the biggest dip. So that's why I did a real trade on Caval earlier. And then <clears throat> you can just go ahead and look through these. See which ones you like. And you're looking for a squeeze bubble one, two, three. So you're looking for... Um, if we go back here, 
we go to buy the dip okay so you're looking for this right here basically the squeeze the bubble the one back inside two back inside three so this is the blue Bollinger band and then when we go here here's the blue Bollinger band okay so basically it's a one dip back inside two dip back inside three dip back inside four dip okay so it's a four dip on the one day which is a really really good trade um, normally we start on the five minute and trade with the five minute but the market's dropping a lot lately so we're going to go in and zoom out and focus more on bigger time frame trades okay so i'm not going to trade this one right now but we can also look over here uh we can click on uh yeah this one right here so <clears throat> caval has had the biggest dip okay out of all these coins so there we go <clears throat> i'm gonna click it again nct has had the biggest rise okay so you can take trades off of this too so one two it's made a two dip and has gone back up um so you could you could trade off of this right here as well based off of coins going up but i recommend you stick to want the dip trade so this is a second dip we're going to wait for a third dip so anyways right now is we're not finding that good of trades but let's see if we can find one um right in here okay but anyways that was the whole process and then we go to rsi spy i'm sorry trade finder we don't see anything here yet so that means the market's kind of at a standstill but we do have caval and zeta so let's say i wanted to take a peek for trade i would go to here i would go to caval and i would go to i guess they don't have the i let's see c o v a l okay i'll just use um the kucoin <clears throat> oh this is tether one second usd I don't think they have the Coinbase chart. So we'll do, I guess it's all Tether. Okay, we'll just do this one. So let's say I wanted to do a Tether trade with Caval. Um, I would just do it on Coinbase like I showed you right here. Okay, but anyways, let's say we wanted to do a trade with Caval and paper trade it. So what I would do is I would literally just um i would come over here i would go right under the green line or right under the price line click on the plus sign click create new order uh go right here put in a hundred so i'm going to use a hundred dollars on this trade click buy and then i would move the take profit up um however much percentage i would want to make Let's say I want to make about 3% on this trade. I would put it right up to about there. And then click modify order. And then boom, we got our trade that might hit that limit buy and then sell up to here. So that's how you would do a paper trade using iCoin Pro. Right now, there's not that great of trades to uh, find right now. So that's fine. Um, I like to know when not to trade actually. So it's good to know when not to trade that way you're not uh wasting your money okay so let me go back out to here 15 minute <clears throat> so anyways that is how to paper trade now let me show you an example of my account history so here was the last paper trade that i did let's let's see prq let's do history prq so here's the last trade that i did let's go out 
to the 30 minute. Let's do this. Okay, so I was on a Zoom call with one of my new team members and I was demoing the iQuin Pro software just like I am to you right now. And we went ahead and found this trade right here using the iQuin Pro system. And I bought right here on the blue arrow and I set it to sell here at the red arrow. And so then this trade actually went up a lot more. So I bought it here and it went up 55%. I sold it at 14%. Uh, I don't think it was exactly 14% because I put in $100 and I made $5.55, so I think it's actually like 5% profit. But anyways, I, I bought here, sold here, and then it went up a lot more. So iQueen Pro does teach you how to find really, really good trades. And so, right, it's not always the best time to trade, but I just wanted you to know this is how you use the software. And then again, for the third time, let's go ahead and try to find a trade. We click refresh right here, see if this number is bigger than this number. Sort by current low to SMA. None of these numbers are bigger. Okay, that's fine. Go to trade finder. We don't see anything here. Okay, RSI spy. Uh, we see Caval, Zeta. And then let's say we wanted to take a trade on Zeta. I wouldn't necessarily trade Zeta right now. I would probably wait for it to drop. But let's say real quick, for example's sake, that you did want to trade Zeta. I'm just trying to look at it at a bigger time frame, see if it's worth trading. Um, let's see. We got a, a squeeze. Here's a squeeze bubble. One dip, two dip, and then three dip back inside. And then it's already gone back up to the green line. So it's probably going to go back down. But anyways, here is a three dip right here. Okay, so a squeeze, and then a bubble, one dip, two dip, three dip. So your buy would be in here. You would sell somewhere up in here. And then um, you could sell on the yellow line as well. But anyways, that would be Zeta. And let's say you wanted to trade Zeta. Come over here, do Z-E-T-A, USD, Coinbase. Okay, and then we would go ahead and we would just, I would just zoom in a little bit on the chart. And then I would click right under the line, <clears throat> the market line, create new order, use $100 for your trade, and then click buy. And then we're going to drag to take profit up, let's just say... We want to make about 2% on this trade. And then click modify order. Boom. There we have a potential trade to hit right there. Um, so we got four orders now. Uh, positions. Nothing's active right now. Everything's just waiting to hit. But that's how to paper trade using iQueen Pro. And we found two of the uh, better trades using the RSI Spy rather than the buddy coin crawler or the trade finder and then we can also find these trades right here and see that so it's the biggest coin that's changed in the most i'm sorry it's changed the most in 24 hours compared to like six percent so that's a pretty good indicator and then we have uh zeta right here with a low rsi right here and then some other coins with low rsis so we could do like a one dip, two dip, back inside, uh, maybe a third dip right there. So these coins are, here's a squeeze bubble. Okay. So that's what we're looking for is squeeze bubble. One dip, two dip, three dip, and then your buy would be somewhere in here. You would sell up in here. Okay. So that's how to paper trade with iCoin Pro. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I... Uh, now what you need to do is click the link down below and register for the free iCoin Pro Boot Camp. And you're going to go ahead and watch the free boot camp right here. And then learn how to paper trade right here. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Click the link down below right now.